President Donald Trump took a moment in his history-making summit with North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un to show off his presidential limousine. Trump and Jong-un had just finished off a working lunch when the American president appeared to make an unscheduled stop at the huge armored car known as the Beast. News footage showed the world leaders approaching the American flag-bedecked limo before Trump gestured to the car and a Secret Service agent opened the passenger door. The North Korean leader smiled as he was allowed a rare look inside the $1.6 million vehicle which is designed to survive a military-style or chemical warfare attack. The car travels everywhere with the U.S. president and flies in the belly of his plane when he's abroad. The move appeared to top off what was seemingly a successful afternoon of talks. Trump sounded optimistic, saying, We had a really fantastic meeting. A lot of progress. Really very positive. I think better than anybody could have expected. Top of the line. Really good, he said. The Beast, or Cadillac One, is President Trump's iteration of the presidential limo. The power move is likely to have impressed Jong Un, who, despite his nation's isolation, has a taste for American culture and Western luxury. Growing up, attending an international school in Switzerland, friends remembered the dictator as a basketball lover who was a big fan of Michael Jordan. He also has his own version of the beast, a $2 million armored Mercedes-Benz S600 which even has a portable toilet, according to the Washington Post. On Tuesday morning, Trump's motorcade was the first to pull into the Capella Resort in Singapore, which has been closed to outsiders for days out of extreme precaution. Jong Un was not far behind after making the under 15 minute drive from his hotel to Sentosa Island along a route filled with gawkers. They began the summit with a hearty handshake, exchanging pleasantries for the cameras and meeting one on one for 38 minutes with only translators present, while the world watched with anticipation as the first ever meeting between a U.S. president and a North Korean leader unfolded. The leaders were treated to a six course meal that included three deserts, including Hajin Daz's vanilla ice cream, at their historic summit. It was the kind of gut-busting meal that could bring mutual camaraderie, not that either leader is watching his weight. Get a good picture everybody, so we look nice and handsome and thin. Perfect, Trump told photographers and a TV crew at the start of the lunch. Kim reportedly has packed on weight so he could emulate his powerful grandfather. Trump notched just below obese in his first White House physical and is trying to lose 10 to 15 pounds. Diplomats had just weeks to put together the Singapore summit, settling on an elegant and substantial meal for the two leaders at their working lunch. Following their lunch, Trump and Jong Un took the sojourn to take a sneak peek at the beast which was parked outside. The beast weighs 8 tons and has 8-inch thick steel doors that weigh the same as those on a Boeing 757 and are sealed to withstand biological and chemical attacks. The front windscreen can withstand armor-piercing bullets or a .44 Magnum, and the bodywork is military-grade and 5 inches thick. The reinforced undercarriage would withstand going over a roadside bomb, and the fuel tank is explosive-resistant. Only the driver's side window can open in case he needs to pay a toll, and in the boot are cases of the president's blood for an emergency transfusion. Among the other features are shotguns on board in case an attack breaks out, Kevlar tires that run, even if they are flat, and an oxygen system in the trunk in case of a chemical attack. A number of guns are hidden in the front grille of the vehicle which can be used to fire on an attacker. The Beast also has night vision cameras on board and appears to run on diesel due to the oversized rectangular fuel filler door. The Beast is not the only high-tech vehicle in the presidential fleet. Among the motorcade is the president's own communications antenna a mobile cell phone tower strapped to the top of a car in his motorcade. And always nearby is the military aide carrying the nuclear football, which is the briefcase which stores instructions in case of a military attack. One of the few times the beast has broken down was in 2013, when a driver put the wrong fuel into it while on a trip to Israel. The embarrassing blunder left the Secret Service scrambling to find a vehicle that could take President Obama around Tel Aviv. He was not on board at the time. Obama's staff had anticipated every eventuality with the beast and had bought generators and backup equipment, but they did not count on such a basic human error. Another incident was on a 2011 trip to Ireland when the beast got stuck on a speed bump outside the U.S. Embassy in Dublin 